Yo yo yo, what is going on from thanks so much for tuning in as always. My name is Satchaline and in this video we are creating the VIP restaurant. This idea was mentioned in a previous episode and that this build is sort of a side project that we're doing. Uh, but I still wanted to show this because it is still part of the overall project that we're doing for the entrance. And at the end of the day it is part of something that we created before. It's more an extension rather than a completely new build and or enclosure for example so i still wanted to show this in a separate video this idea came up in yeah like pretty much when we created the enclosure for the fellow there and finished the restaurant uh, at some point whenever the two glass houses were finished we were kind of looking at this area of uh, yeah the project that we are currently creating and we weren't entirely sure what to do with it so we try to look around and also think about the buildings that were here before because previously we had the keeper's hut and the staff room for the staff members to tend the saltwater crocodiles and the pangolins but because we have a separate glass house for all those staff buildings which is like right beside the glass house for the fellow there which also houses the restaurant and those two buildings are gone and they will not reappear here anymore and therefore this area was like kind of empty and we weren't entirely sure at first what to do with it and then we yeah like looked around and we saw the restaurant in the glass house itself and then it sort of kind of struck because the tables that we have inside the glass house there are only 10 of them and a restaurant is able to house way more than 10 and therefore we were thinking okay because like this area is right next to the restaurant the area that we can select the tables in is still in range so we yeah pretty much that came to the conclusion that it would be a pretty cool idea to yeah like make an extension of the restaurant and get some extra tables in because the busier the restaurant is the more money it will make and with more money more profit therefore we can create new and more things so all in all it was pretty much like a yeah idea that uh, started very quickly and uh, yeah, like afterwards we were jumping into Pinterest to see some inspirational screenshots and photos here and there. And fairly soon we saw a screenshot of a building that is pretty much like similar looking uh, in like the style that is on what we've been doing so far. And um, yeah, like it sort of came about very quickly. And overall it's very similar to what we've been creating so far. So uh, building material wise, it's all the same look wise it's all the same but here and there some inspirational thingies uh, did appear where we saw the uh, the screenshots on pinterest and there were like a couple of them at the end but overall i'm like super happy with how this area and this sort of side restaurant looks also the creation of the uh, foliage like planters so to speak right next to it because at the end there will be some open spots still left and we decided to fill those in with uh, yeah like foliage and rocks just the normal things that we would do uh yeah in a open place if we don't know anything else like to do for example if we are not able to create a building end of sorts therefore we will place yeah like planters in instead and overall it's very yeah, like a luxurious look that's pretty much what it ended up to be so overall whatever the restaurant is finished and also with the foliage it will look pretty darn cool. So I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So as mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is like a side project because in the previous one, we continued on the main entrance building itself. And all the buildings that you see in you videos have been created live over on Twitch. So we'll leave a link in the description down below, which will redirect you to the Twitch channel. Over there, we yeah, create everything live. So all these like ideas, also like all the Pinterest visits, for example, will be shown there too because we do show like all the inspirational things that we find and also yeah like what we are uh, able to do with all the ideas etc so overall a very chill stream as well so if you do like those then i highly encourage you to check out one of those live streams and hopefully able to see you there in the future it would be great to have you there also at the making of this video the new wetlands dlc is about to drop it's only a couple days remaining, seven to be exact. So there will be a special video fairly soon. Can't really say anything about that as of now. But if you have been on this channel for some time, then you probably already know what type of video that's going to be. 
Uh, but stay tuned for that as well. And most likely we'll be having two videos again next week. Because one of the videos will be for the Badlands DLC and the other one for the continuation of the entrance project. But for now, I want to thank you very much for tuning in as always. It's very kind. And thank you very much for the support over these last couple of videos. They have been like watched by so many of you and it's like super cool to see. So I really do appreciate every single one of you stopping by in these videos. It really means a lot. And hopefully I will see you in the future video over here on YouTube. And otherwise in a future live stream over on Twitch. Stay safe for now. I will see you later. Thanks again. And I will see you all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.